Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. Are you having a good day? Oh, I hope so. Granny B's having a pretty good day, but you know, every time I try to read a bedtime story, it makes me yawn. Ooh, ooh. And that's so rude when you're trying to tape a story. But this bedtime story is written by the same person who wrote Good Night Moon. And haven't we all enjoyed Good Night Moon over the years? This is called Good Night Little One. And it's written by Margaret Wise Brown and illustrated by Rebecca Elliott. And oh my goodness, if this just isn't the perfect ending to a day in the life of anyone, especially these little animals in this book, Granny Bee's gonna get out of the way and you just relax and if you go to sleep, it's fine with me. I'll try not to go to sleep though. <laughs> little donkey on the hill standing there so very still, making faces at the skies. Little donkey, close your eyes. Little monkey in the tree, swinging there so merrily, throwing coconuts at the skies. Little monkey, close your eyes. Silly sheep that slowly crop. Night has come and you must stop. Chewing grass beneath the skies. Silly sheep, close your eyes. Little pig that squeals about. Make no noises with your snout. No more squealing to the skies. Little pig, now close your eyes. Wild young birds that sweetly sing, curve your heads beneath your wing. Dark night covers all the skies. Wild young birds, now close your eyes. Old black cat down in the barn, keeping five small kittens warm. Let the wind blow in the skies. Dear old black cat, close your eyes. Little child, all tucked in bed, looking such a sleepy head. Stars are quiet in the skies. Little child, now close your eyes. Are your eyes still open? Oh, what a sweet book, and those pictures are so peaceful. I hope if you're lying cozy in bed that your eyes have gotten heavy and you're just starting to drift off into a peaceful slumber. Well, as you go to sleep, you remember that Granny Bee loves you. And Granny Bee wants you to come back again tomorrow so I can read you another story when you're wide awake. Okay? Bye-bye.